Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Science for Everyone. Today the video is related to RNA-seq data analysis and the title of my today's video is Exploring Biological Databases. In this video, I will show you how to search your data of interest. As you all know that I have started a video series related to RNA-seq data analysis and this is the part 6 of that video series. In the previous video, I started from the very beginning and I discussed RNA-seq technology, its experimental design and workflow. I discussed the next generation sequencing technology and uh, I also discussed that when the files are being generated, so how they are generated and after that, what uh, what is the quality of that files, okay? So I recommend to watch those videos first in order to make yourself confident about RNA-seq technology. And now uh, our, we are, I'm going to proceed with the data analysis, but first we should know that how to, how to get or how to uh, choose your data of interest, okay? So for that, uh, there are multiple databases where uh, where sequencing files are present are stored and you can retrieve it easily okay so for first you should know that how to explore and how to use these biological databases so in this tutorial i will discuss the uh, european nucleotide archive or ena database where the sequencing files are present i will show you to how to explore this and how to check uh, how to uh, choose your data of interest okay after that uh, there is sra database that is linked to ncbi it is also known as uh, uh, sequence read archive database uh, and the third is the array express okay so these three biological databases are interconnected uh, with each other uh, a type of integration and you can also use uh, it individually and find your data of interest okay so let's proceed with the practical but before this uh, if we are if you are ali and ali is asked by his professor to search fast few files against any cancer type by following these rules okay and we the rules are again according to the rna seq technology so the strategy uh, should be rna seq uh, technology and after that it should be transcriptomic okay the source should be transcriptomic because as i have uh, explained and in the previous videos, we are dealing with the messenger RNA, the transcriptomic, okay? The layout should be paired. Uh, I discussed the single end uh, uh, reads and the paired end reads, but we will choose the paired end, okay? And the sequencing files should be generated through Illumina technology, okay? So these four flags are being given to Ali by his professor. And following these rules, we are going to search for our data of interest related to any type of cancer, okay? So let's proceed with the practical. Stay tuned and watch this video till end because in uh, uh, after watching this video, I'm pretty sure that you can easily uh, go go through your data, search for your data and download it, okay? So for downloading of the data, I will, uh, it will be explained in the next video, but here uh, I will show you that you, how to choose your data and how to search for your data of interest, okay? So let's start with the practical stuff. Okay, so for this, you have to go to the Google and after that, uh, we will start with the ENA database, okay? So I'm having it in the search bar. So you have to just write ENA database and it is European Nucleotide Archive. You have to click on it and after that, uh, a page will appear. Okay, so this is the uh, page, the homepage of ENA database. Uh, there are two such search bars. Uh, so here is the enter text search terms and here is the accession number. So here you can uh, type your uh, your uh, cancer names. For example, we are uh, searching for breast cancer. Okay. So for example, uh, Ali is going to search for breast cancer database uh, data sets. Okay. So here is the uh, here are the outputs. Now, how should you search for your data of interest? Okay. So now this is the main part of it. So after that, you have to uh, do some filtering now. The first thing is that uh, in order to make things simple and understandable, basically when these are, uh, basically uh, you have to go to the study, okay? And for the study, there is study. So about when searching for breast cancer, 4,438 studies are being uh, are being uh, conducted. And project is basically 8,704 projects are being conducted related to breast cancer. So, uh, and after that, 1,51,000 samples are being generated, okay? So basically it's the combined result, okay? So we will have to search for, uh, for our RNA seq files, so for that we will start from the study. Okay, we will click on the study and we will check that what type of studies have been conducted. A simple explanation for the studies: for example, you are Ali and you have conducted RNA seq uh, NGS, the experimental part of it, and you generated 20 files. Okay, so you can just uh, share those those 20 files into the ENA database and you can type your heading to it that I have done this analysis for this purpose. Okay, so for example, if we are looking into breast cancer uh, initiating cells RNA seq, for example, or we can say whole transcriptome profiling. So basically these are the these are the titles of that study okay so for example just look here we are going for this okay so we will click on it this erp this is basically that accession number okay now here is a page of it and after that there are different uh, these are the files okay these are the files but here it is single not paired and it is single end so we are not uh, interested in the single end uh, uh, single end reads okay so after that we will go back and we will search for another uh, study uh, we will just 
to uh, click on the uh, on the breast cancer initiating cell RNA seq. Okay, so after that, uh, you can now this is also no not single end. Uh, it is single end. It is not paired end. So we will just go back and search for uh, another study. Okay, so here is different type of studies. Okay, uh, identification of future. Uh, okay, few genes in breast cancer by paired end RNA seq. We will click on it, and now we can see that uh, yes, these. And now these are the paired end. Okay, I have explained this paired end in the previous videos. Okay, so here is a sample. This is the accession study accession. The, the accession number of this study is this. You can uh, you can write this in your research papers in your thesis. Okay, the sample accession is this and experimental accession the run accession. Okay, so basically SRR is the ID of that sample when it is pro conducted inside the sequencing uh, machine. Okay, and after that uh, this is the study and this SRR 064 4439 uh, basically it is paired end. So this will consist of two files minus uh, underscore one and underscore two so this is the forward end and this is the backward end okay so these are paired end rates okay now here uh, uh, it is hard to find that which uh, what, what is the phenotype which, what is the metadata of it okay so for this and i have told you that you can just also go through the project description and you can uh, just look into it that what basically was uh, has happened here so but uh, for for easy uh, understanding we what we can do is just copy this accession number okay we will just copy it and after that we will go to ncbi or we can say ncbi uh, sra and after that you will click on this because i have told you in the very beginning that these databases are interlinked to each other okay so we will, you will just type this uh, accession number and you will search it okay so this uh, we can just to explore it more that what type of samples are these so you will just have to uh, uh, type this accession number then you have to just send uh, click here send to rna selector and you will send it okay so after that this such type of uh, platform will appear okay so now basically rna selector is um, uh, is uh, it can easily provide the metadata okay of it so now we can see that uh, it is uh, the bio project accession id is this one 719 and here it was also 719 okay so as i have told you that these are integrated to each other okay so don't get confused after that this is public now the essay type is wgs if we uh this uh, it is paired and it is complementary it is transcriptomic it is a homo sapien it is generated by alumina so it's a type of uh, uh, all it is uh, it is fulfilling all our requirements okay so now here just look here this one two three four five six seven sample samples are there um uh, six are of uh, of uh, breast cancer cell lines and one is the normal breast okay so basically it's a complete study design and it is it was conducted and this is the this is the description and this is the uh, sorry this is the the abstract track of it i think so okay you can also search here like this that uh, just click on a single sample and after you can check to the you can check the abstract so here exactly this abstract is also present here and it's also present here okay so these are type of integrated you can just read it about it and you can also tell that uh, what kind of project what was it but the main thing is that we are only interested in our uh in our samples that is related to breast cancer okay so you, you can just select it and you can just uh, go for these samples okay so this is a complete these are complete samples so now uh, if we are searching about uh, for another uh, study, you can also search for another study. Uh, basically, you will just uh, start here. You will click on the study, and after that, okay, this is the study. Now, just uh, checking for another is basically we can check for a uh, whole task and we can check into the breast cancer paper we will click on it and we will check that what type of study is being uh, conducted on related to this but again i am telling you you are only interested in downloading the first two files related to breast cancer okay so that's why you can just choose uh, you can uh, uh, you can choose any study okay so after now this is but uh, no files are present here for example the, the uploader has not uploaded this so we will go back and search for another thing okay now we will start for, we will just click on the study uh, we will just wait to 50 and now no uh, RNA seq of endocrine resistant breast breast cancer. We can also transcriptome sequencing of breast cancer. We will click on here, okay. And after that, uh, these files are being generated. It is transcriptomic sequencing breast cancer. Wuhan University transcriptomic sequencing of breast cancer. So it's a type of and it also consists of paired end files, okay. So in order to check it more in descriptive way, just uh, copy this accession number, okay, and go to the SRA. And after that, uh, you can just send CBI SRA and you can click on this one and you can uh, you will just type this and we'll click on it after that. Now this is the uh, study. You you can uh, it consists of eighteen paired end samples. Uh, it is RNA. It is publicly uh, present, and the files are past few files. Okay, so in order to check it more, you can just click on this sample, and you can go there. And after this, this is the it is high uh, high seq extend RNA seq transcriptomic complementary DNA and paired. Okay, so now this is uh, the, the the information about a single file. Okay, this SRR double one six double zero three forty is basically this is the ID of a single file. Okay, a single fast queue 
new file so how to find out that with this sample is related to breast cancer or normal we can uh, we can explore it uh, related to rna sent to rna uh, result to rna selector okay so these are the things that uh, it is as i have told you it is rna seq uh, and uh, first two files are present pocket okay after that what will you do this is the, these are the files and this is the metadata related to it okay so basically uh, you can check it you can just go through the uh, just look here now adjust the normal tissue and cancer tissue okay so it's a type of complete uh, study and you can just uh, uh, explore these samples and you can download it but downloading uh, i will show you in the uh, in the next video you can also apply source name or source to just check that what type of sources and source name are being present here but you can also go through this uh, the source the source is the adjacent normal tissue and cancer tissue okay so it is a type of complete study you can download this file you can go through it okay so basically these are six three type of uh, sources are present there uh, it is adjacent normal tissue blood and cancer tissue okay and and these are the phenotypes and it is very much important because you have you should know that for which uh, which type of phenotype uh, uh what type of phenotype is involved in this uh fast two file okay so now we, we can easily say that this SRR double one six double zero three two nine is basically a normal tissue RNA uh, sequencing files. Okay, the second one is related to cancer tissue. Okay, cancer tissue has been taken and uh, sequencing has been performed practically, and after that the first few files is related to this. Okay, so the most important thing is uh, linking it to the metadata because if you are having a sample and you do not know that what basically is the sample. Um, about and what is basically its phenotype so it is of no use okay although if it is rna seq and if it is of illumina technology but phenotype is very much important okay so this was about the ncbi and the ena database use these databases in an integrated way just just as i have used it okay you can you can uh, just integrate all the information because they are interlinked to each other okay now you can you choose another type of uh, cancer name and after that you can explore it through your uh explore it and you can download it okay i will uh, discuss the downloading in the next video now the other one is the array express array express also consists of uh, uh, fast queue files and i uh, it is also a type of integrated okay but uh, if you want to look that it is integrated or not so we will just click on it and after that check on it so it is uh, this study is not present here okay so but ncbi and as ena is a type of integrated we will just search for breast cancer and for breast cancer let's see that what is present here okay so now we are we are uh, interested in rna c coding of rna so we will just um, click on this one because this is the filtration okay so rna seq of coding rna okay so this is the rna seq after that uh, we can search for uh, we can also apply more filters related to case control design cancer case control design is a, a type of normal normal versus uh, cancer okay so we can also click on case control design we can also click on homo sapiens because we are interested in homo sapiens so we can click on it that we are interested in homo sapiens and uh, uh, there are also other type of uh, filtration but we are not applying it and we want uh, now this is all the you know the the filtration you can apply it according to your interest but this is uh, this is enough for it after that now you can check for your rna seq technology uh, rna seq related files okay so rna seq of human colon biopsy tissue of healthy segment from advanced breast cancer patient treated with this is a type of treatment uh, uh, treatment study okay so we are not interested in treatment uh, we are uh, interested in case and control okay after that there is uh, rna seq of human breast cancer cell lines if you want to uh, study cell lines so you can go for the cell lines okay now, uh, if we just, uh, there are plenty of, now RNA seq of home, hum, human prostate cancer cell lines, but we are interested in breast cancer because we have our most breast cancer, okay? So let's uh, just go and uh, we just cancel this case control study and make to make um, it in more uh, <coughs> random, okay? So this is breast cancer, this is RNA seq, and after that you can go through it and you can check for it. After that, this is RNA seq was performed on breast cancer cell lines, primary tumor RNA seq. It is related to cell line. Okay, uh, sample count is 168, and this is six, uh, uh, RNA assay. And after that, if you want to explore more, so just click on the view table. Okay, so view table you can see that what type. Th this is basically the metadata of it. Okay, so it is up, it is loading now. Just look here. These all are related to human cell lines. Okay, and I think so. Uh, okay, so this is the ER breast cancer primary tumor. Uh, it is related to this one it is triple negative cancer cell line okay so it these are the phenotypes if you are interested in triple negative cell uh, breast cancer primary tumor so you can take this sample you can analyze it okay now there are uninvolved breast cancer tissue involved now now these are the healthy one okay so you can this is a complete study this is these are the healthy ones so you can take it there is another phenotype and i have this is there is a type of er so about uh, uh, four 
four to five phenotypes are present, but it depends upon you that which type of phenotype you are interested in. Okay, so this was a short video related to exploring your uh, the biological databases and choosing your samples, uh, and then how to choose it and how to process, uh, how to uh, join, uh, how to check it and how to select it. That this is my RNA seq file, and these are these are my fast few files, and these are I'm interesting in, uh, in it. Okay, so this was all about the today's video. I think it's a, a, a bit longer video, but it was important to search for our data of interest. Okay, so after that when you are you select your data and now you want to download it so now uh, for downloading there the type of coding stuff that uh, we will use in the next video and i will show you that how to download your data because uh, the first few files are quite large in size these are in gbs and if you want to download it so it will take time so but coding is a, ty a type of efficient and it easily download it okay just look here and i have told you 93 gb of files are these okay a single file is about of 5.69 gb okay so it is these are large files and you have to download it uh, in a very effective way okay so i will show you different uh, methods of downloading in the letter in the next video okay so i think you got it and uh, I, I, I'm again telling you to watch the previous videos in order to uh, completely understand till now the RNA seq technology. Okay, so if you learn how to explore these biological databases, so like this video, subscribe to my channel, and uh, share it with your friends so that they also get benefit from it. Okay, so thank you very much. God bless you. See you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.